Anyway, um, what else to buy here? Probably not that much. I mean, we got some balls. Let let's see actually what we have. Pokeballs, five. Uh, nugget. Cool. We can actually sell that. Let's let's sell our nugget real quick. Can we sell our lord? I wonder if we can. No. Oh. Well, that seems pretty reasonable. I wouldn't think that you can sell God. So, you know, we th this deserves a little screen cap right here. Let's go ahead and, and screen cap that. Eh. There we go. Well then, um, we will sell our nugget, however. There we go. <coughs> Alright, let's see what we have now. We have a bunch of money, so that's cool. Alright, we have an ether, a moonstone, a potions. I don't really like ethers, and I never use them, so I'm just gonna sell this ether too, because I know that in this game, bag management is actually a pretty big problem. HP up, we don't need that. Whatever. Sell. Um. Yeah, that's about it. So I think... I'll buy some more balls. Only five more. And we'll buy some more potions. And uh, that's about it. Anyway. No, don't. If you keep it and have all your Pokemon die, you win. What are you talking about? Yeah, you cannot sell God. I think that's literally what we've learned today. You can't put a price on God. Let me, let me post that on Twitter real quick. That's, that's going to be a good one. Hold on. Here we go. Excuse me. Yo, I don't ever burp. That's really strange. Why do I burp when I stream? Maybe because I drank tap water. That's probably it. You can't put a price on God. And where's the picture at? I better see some retweets from all you guys or else I'm going to kill you. JK. There we go. Let's move on with our adventure. What's my favorite cake? Answer me, please, before I leave. Hugh Merle, my favorite cake. Probably sh you should get another username, by the way, because it's a little strange to, to, to impersonate someone else. Unless that is your real name, in which case I am very sorry if that offended you, but that's also Yoshida Mario's name. I'm not sure if you knew. Probably so. But, uh, anyway. Um, my favorite cake is probably... Cheesecake, strawberry cheesecake for sure. Uh, if brownies count, then brownies are my favorite, but if brownies do not count, which I doubt they count because they're brownies. Gosh darn, why does that thing always get critical hits? Literally every time! What the heck? What is up with Karate Chop in this game? Jesus, what is. How do we win against Karate Chop in this game? What do we do again? What the hell? Okay, there's no way. Karate Chop must have a 100% crit rate in this game. Like, there is absolutely no way. Karate Chop, Bulbapedia. There is absolutely no way this is real. Like, what the heck? Okay, it has a high- it has an increased critical hit ratio. Uh, okay, it's not 100%. Why the heck are we getting- uh, we're gonna have to sacrifice Jesus. I am sorry, Jesus, but you gotta be sacrificed for the greater good of mankind today. I'm very sorry. I am very sorry, Jesus. We still have Lord Helix, though, so we should be okay. Actually, Lord Helix might die, because... What the hell? How do we beat a Helix? How, how, how do we beat this? Look! It's a crit every... What that? That wasn't even a crit! Lord Helix, I am very sorry, my friend. But for the greater good, you must go. I'm sorry. Lord Helix has died. Everyone, an ode of silence, please. An ode of silence for a second here. What, what's, what's that one song called? Um... <clears throat> let's just let's just keep it silent for a little bit.
Man, I am such a good opera singer. Well, anyway, that wasn't actually our Lord Helix, that was just a stupid star you, so who really cares? Let's take this guy out! You know, we had to sacrifice him for the greater good, and now Blame Bl Blammer is gonna come back and take this guy out with a boom. Or with a blam, actually. Okay, now he doesn't land his critical hits, like what the hell? And yeah, Machop is literally sitting there like, uh, yeah, I am the best, sort of... I've got freaking Karate Chop, like, what did you expect, dude? But, you know. Oh my god, well then, let's continue our excellent Nuzlocke run. Uh, here we are, fighting Geodude. It's pretty great. Oh my god. First generation, probably the best generation of Pokemon games I have ever played. Gen 1ers, is th this guy's name is Dwarf. This, this guy's name is Dwarf. What? I am literally just bamboozled right now. By the way, is that a new route? Because I don't think this is a new route. Alright, let's just see what Pokemon are in here, because I'm not sure if this is a new route or not. Let's find out. Um, I think it might be. I'm not really sure. Someone let me know before I try to catch this Doug Trio for no reason, because I really have no idea, so... Let's just try it. Yeah, his name is Dwarf. Thankfully, he dug, because I was about to kill him on accident. Um... Alright. I need to be pranked. Why do I need to be pranked? That's not very nice. Alright, can I try to catch this thing? L let me know real quick. I I'm just waiting. It is a new route. Okay, cool. Let's go. Pokeball! Slam it. And... no. Okay, well... Hopefully we don't waste our nine Pokeballs trying to catch this guy, please. Oh my god. Why? Alright, well I guess we'll just uh, waste a turn here by using Sharpen. Because why not? I don't think we can- Can we throw a Pokeball at it while it's digging in Gen 1? I feel like if, if any generation would actually allow us to do that, it would definitely be Generation 1. But there we go, we did it. Two people apparently said no. But uh... I don't know. I guess we'll say it is. It's not a new route. Well, that is pretty unfortunate. How is this route that long, too? Uh, I guess we can't use this guy, so we'll name him Can't. We, we can't use you. So, three Pokeballs wasted, and a little bit of my life wasted because of Machop. Local trainers come here to practice. Like me, the legendary... Let's see what his name is. Hold on. Hold on. Too Young! Oh, the legendary Too Young comes here to train. Ugh. Well. Alright, I guess people are mixed because apparently it's a new route, apparently it's not, so... My god, Hyper Fang! Please tell me you are not a high crit chance move as well. Because I will- I am literally just about to just quit because of stupid... Ugh. Okay, well, Spiro, what's up? Hugh Merle has changed his name to Chestnut8000. Good for you, man. I, I am a strong, uh, what is it? I am a strong uh, believer of the movement that everyone should have original usernames. Because the other day on Pixelmon, I saw this guy with the username MunchingOrange13 or something like that. And I was like, alright, I'm really flattered by that. Because, you know, I guess, what do you call it? Uh, what's that one thing? Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, but at the same time, like, come on guys, like, I'm sure you guys can come up with, like, your own username, because, uh, I don't know, I feel like you should be representing yourself, and is it really representing yourself when you're using someone else's name? So, I don't know. Anyway, hopefully uh, nothing else gets more critical hits on us. Hashtag prank mo. why would this trend? Why, why, why do you want me to be pranked? Like, I don't understand. Please check my Twitter. Alright, Emily Chu, I will do that just for you. Just like I did that other thing last time, just for you last time. I don't remember what it was. Cries, cry, the Lord our Savior has died. Lord Helix. From a critical hit, too. We'll go ahead and retweet that real quick. 
Oh my god, you can't put price on god. Has literally gotten 45 retweets, or 45 favorites and 40 retweets in like literally 15 minutes or seconds. What the heck just happened there? Alright, well, <laughs> thank you all so much for that. That's awesome. I'm sure now the beautiful Reddit community will see it and, and love it and, and retweet it, even though, you know, it's... We're on Twitter. We're not on Reddit, but it's fine. Maybe I should post that to Reddit. I never post on Reddit. Someone else post it. I don't really care. I just like reading Reddit. I don't actually... Wow, I like reading Reddit because it's a website called Reddit. Isn't that genius? But I don't actually ever post. Look behind you. Well, uh, that was a little uneventful. Let's take on another dwarf. Hopefully this one is just as not annoying as that last one with Machop. Um, and even if it does have a Machop, what the heck is Hex? Has Hex actually been a move for this long? Isn't Hex like a... Okay, please don't have any Machops, I swear. If this guy's got at least one Machop... God damn it! Oh my god! Oh my Helix! Well, can't. You're going in, buddy. You're about to take a karate chop to the face. There we go. Well, it was a new route. We had a chance. And now we don't have a chance. I guess we really can't use him. Because karate chop. Gosh darn it. Like, it, this is so dumb. It's literally living in fear of being crit pitted. It's really dumb. Please don't have another one. Thank God. Thank Helix. Our prayers have been answered. No more Machops. Oh my goodness. I feel, I feel like Machop is literally the death of us in this game. Like, literally nothing but Machop has killed us. I'm, I think. Wait. Didn't, didn't like three things die to like one Pokemon? Oh yeah, three things died in like Mount Moon. And I don't remember what that was, but I'm pretty sure it was Flareon. I think that Machop might be a disciple of Flareon. A, a disciple of Dome Fossil. I'm not really sure, but I have a little hunch that Machop might actually be a disciple of the Dome. Anyway, Machop is the bane of every gamer's life. Maybe, probably everyone that's played this game has trouble with it, because it literally, like, how do you deal with critical hits? It's all completely up to luck. Like, what do you do? Oh god, this is going to be another hiker, isn't it? Oh jeez. Oh god. Wait for Machamp, Mo. Oh my god, I don't even want to think about that. Oh my goodness, it's another hiker. Does he have uh, Machop? No, he's got an Onyx. Cool. I'm actually, I, I don't mind you as much, Onyx, because you don't have Karate Chop. You don't have arms to chop us with. So, I am perfectly okay with you, buddy. Thank you, Dwarf. 